Specialised cells are cells that are adapted to perform a specific function. You could be asked about the structure and function of any of these different cells in your exam. We're going to go through a few of them in a bit more detail and the rest you can find information about at revisingscience.com. So up first, the sperm cell. The sperm cell contains the genetic information of the male parent and it's needed to reach the egg, break into it and to fertilise it. To help it do this, it has a large nucleus to contain the genetic information to be passed on, a long tail that it can whip back and forth to move, plenty of mitochondria to provide energy for movement, and an acrosome packed full of digestive enzymes to break down the outer layer of the egg. Another cell you need to know about is a muscle cell. These cells allow you to move and also can squeeze food through the digestive system. To help with this, they contain mitochondria to transfer the energy needed for contracting, and they can also store glycogen, which can be broken down and used in cellular respiration when required. You also need to know examples of plant cell adaptations, such as the phloem cells. These cells are specialised to transport the sugars produced in photosynthesis around the plant. To do this, they have sieve plates between neighbouring cells, which allows water to move freely between them. They have relatively few organelles inside and so are kept alive by companion cells, which are packed full of mitochondria. These also help to transfer the energy required to move dissolved food up and down the plant. Check out the other three cells you need to know about at revisingscience.com.